Jr. and I arrived uh, at Lenoir Ron 52 years ago, 1961, as a uh, bright-eyed freshman, and uh, I've been back at uh, my college slash university uh, for the last 12 years as director of intercollegiate athletics and executive director of the Piedmont Education Foundation. DBA. Yeah. Hi, my name is Joe Smith. I'm an associate professor of health, exercise, and sports science at Lenore Iron University. Oh, I'm Karan Boston. I am a senior football player here. I've been here since 2010, and um, I play running back for the team since then. Hi, my name is John Hanlon. I'm a junior midfielder. Uh, I was recently voted captain of the men's lacrosse team, and uh, I am from Haymarket, Virginia. Rent Stadium in its first life was College Field. The field was six feet higher than it is today and there were no bricks and it was a dual field. It also doubled as our head baseball diamond. Uh, in those days because all LR football was played at night the home side was today's visitor side and the press box set high above the 50-yard line, and the bleacher seating was uh, true bleachers. So the story is that her husband was dead, and Helen Moretz actually gave the money, and it's Helen and Leonard Moretz Stadium. And the story was that she told them, he's dead, I want my name first. So it's Helen and Leonard Moretz Stadium. And it was uh, the new press box, and some of the renovation was done in 1989. We played our first game out there against Wofford in September of 89 in the new configuration. Now the horseshoe's been there since the mid 60s. But the press box, a little rickety wooden structure, stayed on the visitor's side until 1989 when a donor gave enough money to move a, the press box, which was about ready to blow over, over to uh, the home side and it was renamed uh, the Leonard, the Helen and Leonard Moretz Stadium. say it's the largest seating capacity sporting venue in the town. I believe it's, I'm pretty sure it seats more than Crawdad Stadium. I'm pretty sure it seats more than Hickory Motor Speedway. Um, seating capacity has varied over the years. Uh, there's been a lot of big football games there. We're the only college team in town. Um, we've had national playoff games there as far back as the 60s and as recently as you know this past weekend and this coming weekend. Um, and I think that's a good venue for the city in the area for people to come. We've had some pretty big high school games out in this field where they've wanted, they knew they were going to have a bigger crowd and they've come and used our stadium. So I think it's been a, a nice setting. The setting is good and to have college football in the area I think is good. But in 1960, we won the national semifinal football game out here. We beat Northern Michigan. Um, actually, when the game ended, it was tied 20 to 20. And there was no overtime rules or anything back then, and they had to determine how to break the tie to see who went to the national championship game. And they did it by total yards gained 
and the story is that we won by like 10 yards. first time uh, I experienced Moretz was on my recruiting visit and I came to watch a football game. Uh, I just remember being blown away with how big it actually was. I wasn't expecting it to be that big. And uh, it was just a really cool experience how, how loud it was on the outside. But Yeah, I think there's definitely some um, sacredness to, to being here. Uh, I feel like uh, just the, the whole idea of character development taking place and when I leave this school, I'll know exactly the place where, you know, I, I change as a person and as a man. And to have that history in, in a specific location, there should be some sort of a sacredness to that. So. Well, it's sacred to a lot of people. And I think it's sacred to the community that remembers because there was a day in the 50s and 60s where it was uh, the social spot. You know, something really significant is just being able to leave as a three-time conference champ. We have, we're in a really tough conference, so that's really impressive. And now, of course, the, the third round playoff berth and potentially the national title. Uh, we have an opportunity to be known as one of the best teams in LR history. And uh, all we have to do is win more, one more game to have the uh, the record for most wins in the season, so that's really significant. Uh, it's where I played college lacrosse, and every time I come back to LR, that's going to be the first place I focus on. That's going to be the first place I want to go to. And or really in the Unifor counties, which is um, Burke, uh, Caldwell, Alexander. I mean, this is a unique spot, I believe, in the Unifor area, and um, I would consider it sacred. Of course, I'm biased since I've been here for so long. But uh, yeah, I absolutely think it's a sacred place in Hickory. That every day is important. And uh, there are many, many, many definitions of success. One certainly is the progressive realization of a worthy goal. And I think.